Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for a while but I am now back and my first video is going to be sorting out my wardrobe. Now it's currently March and I just feel like I need to do some spring cleaning. I have a lot of stuff in my wardrobe that I've had for a very very long time. Some of it for like probably more than five or six years so it's absolutely time that I did a sort out and I thought I'd show you the process because I think it'll be quite interesting. I think that I'm going to be finding some some stuff in there that I actually don't remember that I had and also lots of things that I just know need to go and obviously be replaced with lots of nice new stuff as well. So I'm going to firstly show you what's in my wardrobe and then go from there. I think I'll be tackling the middle section with all the things that I like hanging up. So let's have a look now. Okay, so this is my wardrobe and these are the clothes. Oh, same. I need to move things because the wardrobe won't even open. <laughs> Hold on, let me just do that. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, this is my wardrobe and this is what is currently in it. It is kind of organised chaos, but this needs to get better. So if I just go on shelves like and show you what's on each. So the top shelf, I'm going to have to try and tackle this at some point, but it's not going to be the first point for me because this is all the knitted stuff, all the woolly stuff that I use for winter, obviously. So it's like hats, scarves, gloves, and maybe some tights up there as well. And then in this section here, it is organised by jackets, gilets, and then, oh, I've got a dress, a rogue dress just in here. And then um, as I go along, it's like different dresses, like evening wear and shirts and nice tops, like summery ones. I literally just got this a few weeks ago. Absolutely love it. Um, I think for the summer, this will be really nice. I really like the lacy pattern on it. And, um, oh, I have quite a lot of lacy things. I feel like I'm an Edwardian lady, just like in the wrong era. <laughs> um, so this is the situation. And on the bottom level down here, we have... Well, I've got more jackets as well because these ones are too heavy to hang up and there's not enough space because they're really bulky and like fake fur. So like they're quite time, um, not time, uh, these are quite space consuming. So that's that. And then I've got all like trousers, gym clothes and jeans down here and a pile of jumpers. So basically I need to go through all this section and just organise it and take out things that I've had for too long and put it, maybe some of it in colour coordination as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up here and then you'll be able to watch me take everything out of the wardrobe and try my best to organise it into neat piles and also a pile for eBay, Depop and Charity Shop. So let's get started because I feel like this is going to be a task that actually lasts all day because once I've sorted it I have to list everything on eBay and Depop. So better start sooner rather than later because this is a task but it's going to be so worth it because I feel like tidy wardrobe, tidy mind so that is the aim. Okay so I'm going to begin tidying the wardrobe now. There's so much stuff to go through that now I'm actually a little bit scared because there's just so much stuff in there that I just feel like I'm going to have like lots of dilemmas deciding if I should keep this, if I should chuck this. But realistically, like, I do know the sort of styles that I'm, like, trying to go for. And that means it should make the tidying process a lot easier in the sense that I shouldn't, like, hold on to stuff that is no longer going to fit the style that I want to go for. So I'm going to, like, start now. I've also tied up my hair because, you know, girl means business, so it can't be down. So let's start the process. Okay, so I've started taking things out of the wardrobe and the room gets messy very, very quickly, which is kind of like, oh, uh, but it's okay because it's going to be immaculate by the time I'm done. So what I think might actually be easier is because I started actually taking everything out of the wardrobe and then um, was going to go through it. I actually feel like it'll be easier to look at the things that are already in and put them into two piles. Um, so it'll be like to keep and to get rid of. So we'll go through the pile that I've already taken out now and start with that. And then with the rest of them, I'll just go through them and show you as I'm taking them out one at a time. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I've got this dress. This is nice. I'm going to keep this. Um, and then I've got this skirt to keep. A summer dress. I feel like I've actually already got this on um, for sale, but it's in my wardrobe just to keep it nice. Um, but I'll just keep that there as well. 
Then like a black evening dress, like you can't go wrong with like a black evening dress. I just feel like everyone has to have these in their wardrobe because you never know when you're gonna need an event dress and that literally will go with anything. Uh, pink pinafore, keep. I've got quite a lot of like black dresses here. A grey one. I've actually only worn this once for an interview. Um, but it's nice and smart, but I've only worn it once and I've had it for years, so that's what I'm kind of thinking, do I keep it? Do I not keep it? I'll probably keep it. This, my like, bridesmaids dress. Super cute, it looks really good in Instagram photographs, like when it's all edited and stuff, like it's really cute, I'm keeping it. Very, very, very space consuming dress. However, so cute that, you know, it goes in the wardrobe. This, hmm, I mean, not usually the style I go for, it's a bit too uh, leather clad. I'll keep that. Velvet, oh my god, I love this. This is so nice. It's like a velvet evening dress. And I absolutely love it. I bought this from H&M about a year ago and I've had a few occasions to wear it. And yeah, I absolutely love it. It's so nice. Um, I just need to find more fancy occasions and uh, get that on because it's so nice. This one, okay, so I bought this brand new from Topshop about a year ago I think and it's really really like at the time I really liked it it's sort of fastens here but I just don't feel like the colour is like what I want to go for anymore but it is literally brand new with tags so I am going to sell this on Depop or eBay Hey everyone, so I have gone through the wardrobe. I focused on the middle section, like I was saying, and it is colour coordinated now, which I'm very pleased about. I'm currently just in the process of putting away the last few things, and I created a pile just over here of things that I'm going to put on Depop and eBay. Um, the last few things that I've got to still fit in the wardrobe are <laughs> very fluffy jackets, which honestly, I think that they're going to have to go in that empty section there below the railing because they definitely can't be hung up. What I actually found was that it was actually more difficult to put stuff back in once I'd taken it out, which is so bizarre, but I think it was because just the volume of hangers. So I've actually tried to condense that by putting multiple things on the same hanger um, because there just literally wasn't space. So I've done that and I'm hoping that this is going to make things a little bit easier. It still looks like a lot though to me, but I feel like it's a process. You can't necessarily just do it all at once because maybe a bit of a shock to the system, but like I think that I've actually done a good amount and it's also a lot neater and now I actually remember what I have, which is obviously a good thing. So I am pleased with that at least. And I think that it's gonna be good to just put some stuff on Depop and just, you know, go shopping for some brand new things and see if there's other nice things that I can like add to my wardrobe for spring summer because obviously lots of things I've had for a long time some of them like I haven't ever worn so obviously I was never going to get around to actually wearing them anyway so it's a good thing that I've done a bit of a wardrobe detox and yeah I'm looking forward to revitalizing it with some new pieces very soon so in my wardrobe I actually found some gifts that I've been hiding as well it's a good job that I actually came across these because it's my dad's birthday very soon and um, I've kept it into the hat because I thought it was more covert. Um, and he likes Turkish delight because he's Turkish. And I bought him this uh, Turkish delight Easter egg from Fry's. And I just think it's so cute. I found it in the Cadbury shop. And I was just like, I know he would absolutely love this. So I just think this is such a cute present. So this is also currently in my wardrobe. It takes a bit of space, but I think it's okay because it's his birthday in a couple of weeks. So. So I just thought I'd sit down for a minute and just relax, recoup because I've been tidying that wardrobe out like all morning and basically I need some tea. So I need to sit down to do that. I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about some of the clothes that I'm actually going to be putting on Depop and putting on eBay. I'll link my Depop down below as well if you'd like to check anything out. And I'll show you some of them as well. Basically, I still love all these clothes, but I feel like aesthetically I'm gonna move to more, I'm gonna be moving more towards a sort of pale pastel vibe and I feel like these clothes don't necessarily fit that so these are the ones that I'm going to be putting on my Depop sale so I've got this black top which is like a lacy number it's really nice with like a camisole underneath it and then I've also got a little black dress again lacy 
really elegant and nice. I've got this like wintry pink sort of teddy shearling style jumper. It's got a zip on it as well. Um, that's nice. This one here is already listed. Um, but I'm going to put it in like a box of things that I've got for sale instead of having it in my wardrobe because as I've discovered it can only hold so much so that can't stay there because the hangers like no more can fit in. I've got this little green khaki top. It kind of reminds me of what they wear in Jurassic Park. Um, I really do like it but I just haven't worn it for the years I've had it so I just feel like it's time for me to probably sell this. And then I've also got this kind of cute office style top. I've wore this like quite a few times. It's in really good condition, but I don't work in an office anymore. So this I can put for sale. And again, another few like chiffon-y sparkly tops. Again, really nice. It's like a nice camisole underneath it. It's got like silver little flecks and stuff in it. So it's really elegant, really pretty. And then I bought this from Topshop. Now, I don't know if anyone remembers this being in Topshop, but this was years ago. And as soon as I saw it, I really liked it because I'd never seen anything like this in Topshop before. But now I'm looking at it, I'm like, what inspired this? <laughs> it's so lacy, but in kind of an antique sort of way. Does that sort of make sense? If I move it a bit closer for you. It's like got all these sort of frilly bits on. So I've worn it a couple of times, but I just feel like, no. <laughs> and then I've got this red top because it's very low cut and I don't usually go for things like this low cut um, because I just think it's a little bit too much on show and that's for me personally. So yeah, I think that, I feel like actually this could look good with like a black or maybe some sort of camisole underneath but then that's the thing, like I don't know if that this neckline really goes with a camisole under it so I think that I might have to sell this one because I have tried it on with a few different things and it does look nice but I just feel like it's quite exposed here and because like it does it does sit low on me I feel like she's flashing a little bit and I don't really like that I like to be more modest so that can go as well and then I have a couple of other things I got the, that yellow dress that I showed you this pink top now I'm being an R about keeping this because I do really like it but it's just a size above what I am so I don't know if it'll sort of slip off my shoulders a little bit but I may try this with other stuff because the colour is literally gorgeous and I just think it's so perfect for summer. But I'll have to try this with some other stuff first. Another little chiffon dress and then the yellow dress. So yep, that's pretty much what I've got. It's going to take me probably a couple of hours to list all this stuff. But I'm going to get on with it as soon as I've had my tea. And I'll show you the process. As well. Also, I can't believe I almost didn't show you. This is what the wardrobe actually looks like now. Now that I've organised it and tidied the middle section up. So... Let me just so I'll explain what's going on here because it might not be immediately obvious. So here I have red things. I've done it all colour coordinated and um, because I just feel like it's easier. I've just put my skirt here because this has to be ironed and it just needs to be kept flat so that just goes there. So just let's just ignore the fact that's green. <laughs> um, and then I have all my black jackets and black um, gilets. And then I've got a green puffer jacket here and then it goes into cream and white and then a little evening jacket here which is just kind of gold so it kind of matches the cream vibe. Then in this section these are like, it's after the jackets and this is like all the things that have black as the main colour in them. Um, and then smart dress because it's grey, kind of, you know, similar to black. And then it's a few blue things. It goes into green, um, some patterned things here, a red skirt, a tunic, which is very, very judgy, very bright. And then probably my personal favourite section is the things that are light pink and white and cream and beige so it's this beautiful beautiful top I can't wait to wear this I think it looks really really nice and yeah oh, look at the pattern oh my god I love this so much um yeah and then I've got tops um lace tops the go over the top of like camisoles and um, this beautiful plaid check uh, dress um, and then nice loose fitting white tops that you wear like on holiday, chiffon tops and yeah, that's where my wardrobe ends. So that's the colour coordination that I've come up with and it's very satisfying to look at because it wasn't this organised before and like I was saying, this here, including the yellow dress, is the pile of stuff that I need to go through and list. It looks like quite a big section of clothes but it's going to be absolutely fine and it'll be just like really satisfying to get this on Depop.
Hey everyone, so I just want to jump back on quickly and say I've been listing all the stuff on Depop and eBay and I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed seeing me tidy the wardrobe and you know declutter. I always love watching this type of video. I feel like it's really good inspo and like good motivation to make you want to tidy your own space up as well and like to get some inspiration and some ideas about how you can like organize your living space because honestly it just makes such a big difference to like just everything like your mind like it feels so much like tidier and everything so much calmer when your like living space is really organized so yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this i hope it gave you some spring cleaning wardrobe tidying inspiration and i look forward to seeing you very soon in a brand new video bye